breaking overnight. A man shot several times had to be rushed to the hospital. It happened in the Mount Hope neighborhood. Police say he and a friend were outside when someone drove up to them, got out of the car and then pulled out a gun and started shooting. One man was shot in his chest, his ribs and arm. He was taken to the hospital, but he is expected to live. Gang detectives are investigating. Also, this shooting about five miles away in the Paradise Hills neighborhood, police say a man and woman were targeted at their own home. The couple had just pulled up to their house on Flint Ridge Drive. They got out of their car and then when they went to go inside, police say someone started shooting at them. The woman was hit in her leg. We're told she was taken to the hospital, but her injuries are non life threatening. A fast moving wildfire is burning in, in Spar uh, Santa Barbara County and it's nearly quadrupled, quadrupled in size since Wednesday. This is the Sherpa fire. It burned more than 6,000 acres. It's only 20% contained. Strong winds and rising temperatures and dry brush all expected to continue to fuel the fire. An air quality warning is now in effect in Los Angeles and Orange counties. People with respiratory problems, the elderly, and children are being advised to stay indoors. Meantime, closer to home, a brush fire burned dangerously close to several homes in Santee. Crews say it actually burned two acres near Big Rock Park. They were able to get it under control quickly. They do believe fireworks caused it. The San Diego Fire Department thinks it might have extra work to do this weekend because of the heat, so they brought out a second helicopter to be ready for heat-related rescues. Now, it has all the same gear as an ambulance on the ground. Normally, that second helicopter wouldn't be rolled out until next month. Firefighters also want to be ready because the heat means more dangerous fire conditions. And this heat wave hitting San Diego may trigger a flex alert Monday and Tuesday. So what that means is that you would be asked to conserve energy, something April Walsh is actually already doing in this coffee shop in North Park. It makes more sense to me, like if we all conserve a little bit, we all get a little bit of power instead of going completely without power. Yeah, she has the right attitude. SDG and E says power outages are not a big concern over the next week, but they are going to learn more about the outlook for summer at a utility conference next Friday. During a flex alert, you would be asked to turn off all unnecessary lights and only use major appliances after nine o'clock at night. Also, you want to set your air conditioners to 78 degrees or higher. We want to help you stay a step ahead of the heat with updated forecasts. You can get that on the free 10 News mobile app. 834 now to a developing story out of Orlando. The FBI has obtained high quality security video capturing the nightclub massacre in horrific detail. They have not released the video, but sources say the gunman walked from room to room shooting innocent people and family and friends of these innocent victims will continue to say goodbye to the 49 people killed in the Orlando massacre. A number of funerals are taking place this weekend. Several of those killed have already been uh, buried and funerals will continue into next week. Complicating the grieving process is a fundamentalist Baptist church based out of Kansas, which plans to picket outside two of the funerals today. The Orlando massacre left shattered hearts all around the nation and San Diego's top drag queens are trying to help heal a few of those hearts. <laughs> Look at that outfit. 20 of San Diego's top drag performers came together last night at Rich's nightclub in Hillcrest. They put on a fundraiser for the victims of the Orlando nightclub mall massacre and all profits, all tips, even that of the bartenders were, were intended to go straight to the victims of the Orlando Pulse nightclub massacre. It is a little, a little scary, but it's also now becoming um, an empowerment because Yes, from this tragedy, something amazing and positive is coming out of it. Yeah, it has been really beautiful to watch that community come together. They have raised about $7,000. And happening now, Uber is offering free rides to and from LGBT locations. San Diego is one of 40 cities where it's being offered. Each person can get two free rides that cost less than $20. The offer runs through Monday and valid destinations include community centers, bars, and even those nightclubs. 836 now, new developments in the city of Oakland where once again, they're without a police chief as the agency deals with a major sex scandal. The city's mayor spoke to the public after a teenage prostitute came forward saying she had sex with at least 31 officers across the Bay Area. 
Oakland's mayor is furious, saying as the mayor of Oakland, she is here to run a police department, not a frat house. I want to assure the citizens of Oakland that we are hell-bent on rooting out this disgusting culture and holding those accountable. Three acting chiefs have now resigned and a new chief will not be appointed. Instead, the command staff will report to the city administrator. Happening now, you can trade in your old gas-powered lawnmower and lawn tools for a new electric one with a big discount. Tennis reporter Astrid Solizano is live at Qualcomm Stadium where hundreds of people are willing to stand in line to get one this morning, even as it's going to warm up there. Astrid, good morning. Robert, you beat me to it. That's exactly what I was going to say. Look at this line. Everyone, despite the heat, is still here. Everything is going to be $99. We're talking lawnmowers, chainsaws, hedge and string trimmers. They're going to be out here in Qualcomm until they run out. We don't really know how long that's going to take. Some of these, they're going to get replaced with $400 machines. Now, I'm here with Bob Card. He's one of the organizers. And Bob was telling me a little bit earlier about how important it is specifically in San Diego talking about pollution. Well, really, what happens with all these mowers being replaced, we have cut out 40 tons of air pollution from our skies, meaning we all breathe easier. Thank you very much, Bob. And now, if you guys actually come over here and take a walk with me, I'm going to be here with Kathy, and she is the head of registration now. For people who are actually going to come out, what type of paperwork do they need? We just need to make sure you're a resident of San Diego County. So if you have a driver's license with a San Diego County address, that's good. If you don't have that, if you have a utility bill or something with your name and address showing you live in San Diego County, that's what we need. So like Kathy was saying, if you don't have a driver's license with you, you can bring anything. Bob also said anything that has your name and your address here in San Diego County. Now, all of these people are going to continue trying to get their lawnmowers, their different machines, and it, you still have a little bit of time to come out if you're brave enough to stand under this sun. Reporting live in Qualcomm, Astrid Solarzano, 10 News. Yeah, bring a bottle of water with you. Also happening today, the family of a veteran who took his own life is preparing to put on another free fair for veterans and their families. Daniel Summers is the man you see in the middle here, and his family is using the tragedy to help people learn about and battle PTSD and traumatic brain injuries. The world will never know what they lost when they lost Daniel. Yeah, that's his heartbroken father we're hearing from. That event is being held this morning. A 5K fun run will kick off at 8. Runners will meet at 7.30, or they already did meet at 7.30, so this is all underway at Liberty Station. But if you want to be involved in this, you still can be because the resource fair will get underway at 9 o'clock, and you just have to head over to the Liberty Center conference area. Weather Raid certified San Diego's most accurate forecast. This is a 10 News breaking weather alert. Yes, and we are going to stay in this breaking weather alert so long as we have this extreme heat wave around, and it's going to be here for several days. Yeah, it is. And, you know, I remember covering the heat waves last year, and I don't remember having one that was going to be this many days because the mm -hmm. heat is really going to get intense tomorrow, but you're going to feel it today, yeah. and we're not going to get relief until at least Thursday. So we're not going to cool down a whole lot overnight. Something for you to keep in mind. Taking a live look outside right now in Poway, you can see some high thin clouds. We'll continue to see those streaming into the area from the south throughout the day. And let's take a look at the conditions a little closer here in Poway. 75 degrees right now. The humidity relatively low at 41%. The dew point at 50 and some five mile per hour winds there. Temperatures elsewhere 69 in Carlsbad, 70 already in Kearney Mesa, 69 at this time in San Diego and Chula Vista already up at 71 degrees and we're going to crank up that heat even more starting tomorrow. So this high pressure continues to build from Mexico and it's going to center over the four corners and you can see all this hot air, humid air that is funneling in. Now Monday is expected to be extremely hot as well, but we could get a little bit of relief from a coastal eddy that appears to be developing off the south. And what that really means is that we could get the sea breeze returning, bringing in some cooler air. So we're going to watch that and see if 
it fizzles out or not, and we'll let you know. Record setting heat expected for Father's Day. We're talking 94 as the old record for El Cajon. We're forecasting 103. Chula Vista, we're forecasting 93 for you. The old record 88 and Palomar Mountain going to be at 94 degrees. The old record 91. And then on Monday, Chula Vista, you're looking to break another record. The old record 85, we're forecasting 92 for you. El Cajon's record Monday is 94 and we're looking at 102. At the coast today, 83. We could catch some stray showers overnight. Most of that will just be Virgo, which is rain that doesn't make it to the ground. 88 tomorrow, 89 Monday. We get the 70s Tuesday through Friday, finally. But at the inland communities, the relief is going to take longer. 93 degrees today, 104 tomorrow, 94 on Monday. We don't see the 80s again until Friday, and it's going to be very humid all week long. Mountains today, 87, deserts 107. Robert? It's going to be a long week. All right.